Hello YouTube. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Komodo dual gauge hygrometer and thermometer. Um, this has just arrived today. I've already set this up uh, to test it works and whatnot. But what I'm going to do is I'll take the battery out. Hopefully it'll reset. And I will run through a few basic setup features with you because, well, the, the instructions that I received were in Portuguese, so I had to kind of fathom it out myself. Right, okay, we are now reset. So when you open your Komodo dual digital gauge, you'll notice it has two temperature probes the clusters in and out uh, I suppose it's just so you can differentiate but you can actually monitor two zones at once and uh, that is very handy for people with a larger enclosure for example myself I have a Tegu and I like to have a hot end and a cool end as does every Tegu owner uh, and I, I also have a humidity sensor uh, these are very accurate I've actually tested it in our lab we have got HANA instrument uh, thermometers uh, when the HANA instrument said 22.3 degrees this actually said 22.9 so it's not even it's not even half a degree out okay so let's move on when you put your battery in you'll notice that you've got a standard time uh, set to default at the factory you've got your temperature and you've got your humidity this symbol here is the predictive weather for the time of year the current humidity temperature and time and this machine has been expecting rain all day it actually did have, we had a heavy downpour this morning since then it's been dry though not that you'll pay much attention to that but if it's in a vivarium or terrarium because Obviously, the ambient weather will be whatever you put into your vivarium. Um, so, first, first off, you've got your four buttons. You've got mode, set, and this also changes between centigrade, uh, sorry, Celsius and Fahrenheit. Now it's on degrees Celsius, which is twenty-five point four. If I press that button once, you'll see that it changes to Fahrenheit which is what I'll be using. So for, just for the video's sake, I'll leave it on Fahrenheit. You've got adjust. That is used when you're changing things such as time, high and low alarm for your temperature, high and low alarm for your humidity. When you're not in the program mode, it is a maximum and minimum button. If you press it, you'll notice that next to the temperature, it now says maximum. So the maximum temperature that has been on this device since I put the battery in at the start of the video is 78.9 and the highest humidity is 57. Press it again. You also get the lowest temperatures. So it's good if you've been at work all day and you need to check the temperatures. If, for example, you've set timers to turn basking lights off or for, for um, misters to spray at set times, you can, you can check what sort of average of humidity and temperature have been throughout the day. The snooze button is basically just used for when the alarm is sounding for a low warning or a high warning. Now, if you press mode, the time changes to show what time you've got the alarm set for press again you get it's in American format uh, so you've got month and date press again and this shows your low alarms so you've got uh, if, if this probe sends minus 58 degrees sorry the alarm would go 20% humidity the alarm would go press again You've got highs of 158 and 90. And these are all changeable for your custom, for whatever you need for your vivarium. Um, so, to change the features, I will first of all change the time. 
So I hold the set button, the time ask you to choose between 12 hour and 24 hour now you just press the adjust button to choose between the two i prefer 24 hour personally so i will set that now for the time the time currently is five past five pm so sorry I will set it to 6 because by the time I finish explaining it's it will be 6. So you press set and then the hour will be 17 as I've chose 24 hour. Set again. The time is now set for 6 minutes past 5 in the afternoon. I do not want an alarm. I will leave that at 0. To change the date, keep all the set. Now it actually asks you to change the year first. You press the adjust button, 2014, set, the month is August, so it's 8, set, and the day is the 6th, which is Wednesday, set. Okay, so this is the main screen now. So I've set the time, that is 7 minutes past 5, and those are the temperatures and humidities in my kitchen. Now I want to set a low and a high alarm for the temperature. So I will press mode, shows alarm, date, again, now I'm on the low. So if I keep hold of the set button, you'll see it flashes, press adjust, a low. So I want to set the low alarm. So now you press set and it flashes. Now this can only go one way, which is increasing. So if you go past what you want, you've got to go all the way through again. I will keep pressing adjust and I want my low alarm to be what I want the cool side of my vivarium to go no lower than, which is 75 degrees. Now I'll press set and that is done. Now it's flashing for the humidity. You press adjust, adjust the low, set. I will set my humidity for 60%. I don't want it to go any lower than 60. Set. Now that is set. And now I want to set high. So I press mode again. And I'm onto the high figures. Keep hold of the set button. Same again. It's flashing to say, do you want to change the temperature? I do. So I'll adjust the temperature. The high setting. I will set it. And I want the high setting to realistically, I don't want it going, I want it to warm me when it goes above 115. Um, just so I know that I need to keep an eye on it. 116.6, that will do. Set. Again, adjust and set. Now I'll do the humidity. I don't want the humidity to... I really go much above 80 so I don't mind if it creeps above but I'd like to be warned when it gets to the higher levels so 80% set now the machine is ready to use you can see that on the probes I've got 74.5 uh, 75.4 degrees Fahrenheit and 58% humidity in my kitchen it's telling me that it's, well, call it, ah, see, now that beeping and it's flashing, it's showing that the humidity is low and the temperature is low because I've just set those limits. Now, they will continue to flash even though the alarm has stopped after four beeps, which is handy because if you come in, take a quick glance in your vivarium, you don't really need to pay attention to the numbers and think, oh, what, what, am I, what am I set at, what am I set at? Because if this is flashing, you know that it's low. If the high is flashing, you know it is high. If you, that's, if you don't hear the alarm, my terrarium is not in the room that I will be spending most of my time, so I will not likely hear the alarm, but I check on it now and again. This device is now ready to use. It takes one AA battery, and it also has a pull-out stand. So in the vivarium, 
your stand, two probes, one at either end of the tank, and I've got my humidity sensor, which I would put in the center. Now, if you want to quickly look at, say for example, what temperature this probe is at and what temperature this probe is at, you've got your in and out. You can also label them one, two, it's up to you. But just remember that the top one is in. So if you put the in on the hot side of your vivarium and the out on your cool side, just remember that. What you'd need to do to check you're on your main dial now. It's, it automatically goes after. If a button isn't pressed for 20 seconds, it automatically goes back to this screen. Simply press mode. Mode again. And again. Now. Now, it's a bit of a faff to find out what the two probes are doing. If you've got the probes inside and you've got the control panel inside your terrarium then you know it's a bit of a faff because at a glance you can't really see saying that if it's on the exterior you can't really see it at a glance what you need to do is press mode until you see the in logo flash then you need to press adjust and it will show you what the out probe is measuring so as you can see they're both within 0.2 degrees of each other so they can't be entirely accurate because, as you can see, there's only, there's only an inch and a half, two inch between the tips of the two probes. But they're, they're accurate enough for what I need. Um, that's about all I can show you on the Komodo dual digital thermometer hygrometer.